Hello student, this is Anup sir from Kolkata and today I am going to introduce a important topic in motion chapter. Here you are watching uh, on the screen S is equal to u2 plus 1 by f2 square. Yeah, this expression. I am going to prove it this expression and um, the proof would be graphical. That is, we have to prove it graphically. So let's start. Uh, here these letter stands for something like s stands for distance travel u stands for the initial velocity u stands for the initial velocity u is actually the initial velocity okay t stands for the time taken and f that is this one f this f stands for the acceleration okay uh, next uh, mm, <coughs> the graph one okay so we draw it two perpendicular lines and this horizontal line I am supposing this is x axis and this vertical line I am supposing this is y axis and they are cutting each other at the point O which is known as the origin so if time is plotted along the x axis this axis will be known as time axis and the if velocity is plotted along the y axis that is oy then this axis will also be known as the velocity axis now here we are uh, watching that cb 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 is a line it is somewhat slopey and this line cb is line is actually represents the equation of motion of a moving body and the body has somewhat initial velocity u how let us see this line is starting from c point initially the line start from the c point so it is clear that it is not starting from the origin o what is origin origin actually the position is 0 0 that means that time is 0 and velocity is 0 so initially that is time is equal to zero the velocity is not zero velocity is somewhat and this somewhat is equal to oc okay so this is initial velocity let us suppose i am supposing uh, that the oc is equal to u and it is moving uh, somewhat uh, it is moving um, <coughs> with acceleration this is why the line is not parallel to time axis it is somewhat oblique okay and if the line will be a straight line parallel to time axis then line will be like this and in that case there will be no acceleration here if the line is moving in upward direction then we say that velocity is increasing and if you go on from left uh, to right direction then time is increases time always increases so we should always uh, uh, think that we are moving from left to right so <coughs> if you go on moving from left to right that is along the time axis increasing direction we will find that the line is moving upward that is the velocity is increasing that is it has some acceleration so cv line is a line and that represent equation of motion with acceleration that is f is equal to f okay and it has somewhat initial velocity but if it will move parallel to time axis let us suppose this point is e okay so c e line is a equation of motion of that body which represent initial velocity represent uh, the body is moving with initial velocity cu co that is u velocity but it has no acceleration that is f is equal to zero again i am supposing that oa this oa is actually the time taken t okay oa is equal to t and again oc is equal to u now next in this velocity time graph the initial velocity is co but the particle reaches after time t to a point b on the velocity time graph this b point represents the final velocity so starting from 0 
this AB line will represent the final velocity. Okay, clear. So this AB line represents the final velocity, and this OC line represents the initial velocity. So there must be increase in velocity. What increase? The increase will be equal to BE. This BE must be equal to V minus U. This B must be equal to V minus U. This is V and this part is actually U. Because this is a rectangle and opposite sides are equal in rectangle. So if OC is equal to U, then AE must be equal to U. Okay. And if this will be equal to U and this will be equal to V, so this one must be equal to V minus U. Now again, we know in lower classes we know that uh, we have learnt about it that velocity is equal to distance by time so distance is equal to velocity into time so if there be any graph and velocity is plotted along the y axis time is plotted along the x axis let us suppose um, a rectangle okay so if you try to find out the velocity uh, sorry if you try to find out the area of the rectangle so this must be equal to V so area will be equal to length into breadth length will be equal to T breadth will be equal to V what is VT velocity into time this is equal to distance S so area is equal to distance traveled in velocity time graph so if I am to find out an expression for the distance traveled by the moving party with initial velocity and with acceleration we have to find out the whole area of the graph so here in this graph I am finding that it is a trapezium so area that is distance travel equal to area of trapezium or quadrilateral whatever you could say this quadrilateral is O A B and C this area of trapezium can be bifurcated into two parts one is the area of rectangle O A E C and another part is the area of triangle area of triangle the area of triangle what area this part the area of triangle is let us suppose the name is C B E C B E now what is the area of O A E C that is rectangle O A E C the area of rectangle OAEC is equal to the length into breadth. Now this part is the length, this part is the breadth. This part is length, this part is breadth. Now what is this OA? What is this EA? Plus area of triangle. Now area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. In this case this one will be the base and this will be the height okay for the triangle C B E so C E will be the base half into C E and this will be the height B E now again o, what is O A O A is the time taking T so putting the value of O A T what is E A E A is equal to O C and O C is equal to U so putting u in place of a next 1 by 2 into what is ce what is ce ce is equal to oa because it is a rectangle and opposite sides are equal so ce must be equal to oa but oa is equal to t so putting t in place of c now what is be be this is b here uh, I have already explained that B, B E must be equal to B minus U that is increase in velocity so putting the value of B E is equal to B minus U again if I am 
rearranging it 1 by 2 into t into what is v minus here we know uh, from the expression of acceleration that acceleration is equal to v minus u y t that is rate of change of velocity change in velocity with respect to time or change of velocity in unit time so if you do cross multiplication we will get we will get v minus u is equal to ft so here putting the value of v minus u from here v minus u is equal to ft so we will get ut plus half f t square when t and t this t this t becomes t square and this is s so this is the proof s is equal to ut plus half ft square this is an expression of a moving body with initial velocity u and with uniform acceleration f okay this is the distance travel expression thank you for watching this video and uh, i would like to say that if there is no acceleration so the graph will be equal to s is equal to ut the area will be equal to the s is equal to ut the distance will be equal to s is equal to ut and if the initial velocity will be zero if the initial velocity is zero so the graph will be like this one and in this in that case u will be equal to zero and this expression will just vanish and s is equal to 1 by 2 f t square it will be okay thank you